Hey everybody, I want to start this video off by saying I'm sorry for the crappy lighting and the crappy audio that was going on for like the past couple weeks. Well, since we have moved. And probably prior to that, my uh, cable for my microphone here was going bad and I didn't realize it. So I apologize for you guys having to listen to crappy audio. You have to listen to my crappy voice anyway. So I went and got a new cable at 5 below. It's just a 10 foot type C to type A cable. And for those of you that don't know what a type A cable is, that's the good old USB that's on every computer. That's what that plug's called, the type A USB. And as for lighting, I'm you're going to have to just deal with this for a while. Because until I get this all set up the way that I want, lighting is the farthest thing from my mind right, right now. So I was sitting here watching the Charlie Kirk uh, YouTube live stream. He's still live. Talking about the New Hampshire uh, primary. And uh, if you think that Nikki Haley is not a force to be reckoned with, you better wake the fuck up. And this is why right here. Nikki Haley. And why did you vote for Nikki Haley? Uh, it's a vote against Trump. Uh, I think it would be better to have her against Biden in the uh, elections than it would be Trump in her. Do you consider yourself generally independent, Republican, or Democrat? Uh, Democrat. So when you undeclared, you voted for Nikki Haley. If it was Nikki Haley against Joe Biden in a general election, who are you voting for? Joe Biden. What is the... Right there. These states are letting people go in and vote undeclared. Which I think shouldn't even be a thing. This isn't a Democrat vote. This is a Republican vote. And... Trump only won by a little bit. I think at last uh, check here, he was at 9%. Well, 9% over where Nikki Haley's at. It, it might be higher by the time you, you watch this, but it wasn't a red wave like everybody assumes. Like how in 2020 and 2022, everybody's like, red wave, red wave. And then it turned out to be a red puddle because we sat on our asses. We assumed that there was no way the Democrats could win. And well, guess who's in the White House? And on that note, thanks for watching.